you want to lift up your voice to the Lord you want to tell the Lord show me your way show me your way sweet Holy Spirit show me your way oh Lord we come to you today and we are saying the show us show us Lord teach us pray for yourself and pray for this country pray that God will show us his way everybody just pray that God will show this country the way to go God will direct the leadership of this country pray for yourself as a head of a family as a member of a family oh that God will show you that your eyes will be anointed with eyes self that the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened that we may know what is the hope of the riches of the inheritance in the saints show us Lord show us your way show us your way show us your way yes Lord stronger each day Show your way. Do you really want God to show you His way? That I may walk. That you may walk with Him. Sometimes you do things according to your own ways. The Bible says that there's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end that the ways of death. Where is your hope? The cry of my heart is to, to love. love. Do you really want to love the Lord? To live with the, the touch of, of your, your hand. Stronger, stronger each day. Surely the Bible says that the path of the just is like a shining light. Proverbs 4 verse 18. Shining brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. Show us, O Lord, as we walk with you and as we move with you. Let your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' name. Put your hands together and may take your seats. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm about to preach, but Antonio, can I preach? I think I'll preach right now and then we'll continue. The title of my message is Anna, your father. Wow. I thought it's a good place to put your hands together. Now, this sermon is supposed to usher you into prosperity. Say amen. amen. It is supposed to usher you into long life. Say amen. amen. It's supposed to usher you into health. Say amen. amen. And it's supposed to usher you into the right way. Say amen. amen. So we're going to read a number of scriptures and the sermon is very short. I think about 20 minutes. Am I correct? Antonio, is it 20 minutes? 20 minutes I'm going to share this sermon with you. We've already had a teaching on the canon of scripture. We're talking about Anna, your father. And we are in a season where in the next few weeks, our father, the bishop, will be celebrating his birthday, 14th of May, his Founders Day. That is the day that our bishop was born. And as a church, we want to honor him. We need to, Bible says, honor the Lord with your substance and with the first fruits of all the increase if you honor somebody and you just use your mouth to just say I honor you sometimes you are even insulting him are you getting me yeah you cannot honor somebody if you don't give somebody substance maybe if you read that scripture it's not part of my scriptures but I think I need to look at it Proverbs chapter uh, is it chapter 3 verse 9 one of it, if it's in the Bible, it's in the Bible. What, what is in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9? The law, no, this is verse 19. This is not what I'm interested in. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thy increase. So shall thy bands be full and thy presses burst out with new wine. I don't know where it is, but I think it's Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9. 3, verse 9. Beautiful. You know, when you want to honor somebody, what do you do? You just tell the person, Charlie, you did, pow. Hey, Charlie, hi, man. Hey, hey, hey. Charlie, that one be fans. Who would choose 
if I want to give you funds and I want to give you substance, which one you go choose? Man, Lady T, I won't give you something. I'll, I'll go blow you funds. Or I go give you some something. Which one? Because ah. fans, dear Charlie, like somebody said, thank you with a chop. Thank you with a chop. You know the chop, thank you. So this scripture tells us that if you want to honor, you honor with what? Substance. Everybody say substance. You can say it with a Central African accent. Say substance. Maybe one word that too. Tell somebody, substancy. Hey. <laughs> so as you celebrate your birthday, I believe that the whole church is going to honor him with our substance. Say amen. And I don't know, you might like contemporary, but I don't know whether our bishop likes contemporary. So when he talks about substance, we are talking about something that is liquid. The most liquid item is cash. Is it not a good idea? I'm not ashamed of what I'm saying. Look, let me just read my scriptures and then we'll go along. Tell somebody, honor your father. First scripture I want to read are three verses from the last chapter of Ephesians. Um, go there and let's read very quickly. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1, 2, and 3. If you are there, say amen. amen. Now the Bible begins with children. If you don't humble yourself as a child, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So, as you see the word children, do not think that we are talking about Totofiwa. Is that a word? Totofiwa. Never said it in my life before, but I've heard it. Tell somebody, Totofiwa. Is it a good word? Please, Ashanti. Is, is it a proper word? Rappel, is it a good word? It refers to children. There's no bad thing. Okay, tell somebody, Totofiwa. <laughs> you have never heard it before. The Bible says children, and I believe that all of us who have fathers, we are children. Is it not so? Yeah. All of us here, by the, by the grace of God, we are children of Bishop Dankyward Mills. We came out of his loins. If he had not obeyed many years ago, the voice of God to go start a church, if he had not obeyed many years ago, we will not have been here. I hope you are getting me. Let's just read the scriptures because I, I need to really get this foundation well. Honor your father. Can we honor our father? I'm looking for ways I can honor my father better and better. Amen. Richmond, as you stay awake in church, you are honoring me as a preacher man. Say amen. amen. Because sometimes you watch movies on the screen and you honor them with your eyesight. You honor them with your strength and your time. But at least honor me small with your message. Amen. Children, Obey your parents in the Lord. Why? Why? What does the Bible say? For this is right. Everybody say obey. obey. The Bible says through the obedience of one man, we all receive salvation. When one man obeyed, when Bishop that called, those obeyed the call, the call to live a lucrative profession as medicine. Practicing medicine. I have friends who practice medicine. And my, oh my, are they dusted? Hey, they have money. They move all over the place. Doctors, or at least doctors in certain places. The doctors I'm talking about, they practice in America anyway. I don't know about Ghanaian doctors. Recently, I heard there was a Ghanaian doctor who was looking for work. I say, hey, which kind of Ghanaian doctor is looking for work? Bishop Dagwood Mills obeyed years ago. If he had not obeyed, he would not have started this church in 1997. If he had not obeyed, he would not have looked for money, raised money, and bought this building in 2004 for us to be sitting here. It's a good place to put your hands together. Some of you, you don't know how you came to be here. You don't know how you came to be here. Some of you who disregard your parents, you don't know how, what your parents went through. For you to be here. Are you getting me? Yeah. Stories are told of how people despise their parents. Not knowing that their parents are... I heard a story recently of a young guy who took a cane and started caning, caning the, the, the mother. Hey! Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Started caning. 
And then you know what the mother did? The mother removed. I'll just remove my jacket. Don't worry. The mother removed her dress. Removed everything. Removed. Removed. Stri stripped. Naked like a banana. And, and, and told the boy, you are caning me. You are caning me, your mother. This is how I was when I gave birth to you. I hear a lot of mothers when they are giving birth, they don't wear anything. I don't know. Uh, eternity, have you ever had somebody come to see you? He's doing a wedding and he wants makeup. Say the truth. You do a wedding, he wants makeup. Say the truth and shame the devil. This is one of the best makeup artists in, in the church. We have a number of them. But, Penin the Penin, yeah. Uh huh. Anybody, wedding, makeup. Yes. Yes. What about somebody doing engagement makeup? They do come for makeup. Or engagement? Yes. But has anybody come to you eternity and say eternity? Next week is my E, E what? E D D. Those of you who don't know E D D. Today you are learning a new thing. Tell them E D D. If you don't know, see somebody. Uh, you two also don't know. One woman and Sawunim. Expected date of delivery. Has anybody come to see you and say that eternity? Tomorrow is my EDD. Do makeup for me. It's not possible. No, 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 no. no. He's thinking of how to release the baby and be free. So this woman told the boy who had caned him that look, this was I was I was naked. I, I was naked when I was giving birth to you. It was a message, symbolic message that. This honoring that you are dishonored her by caning her. Within a short time, a couple of years later, the guy died. Oh, the guy died. This is a story that I heard. I don't know who has heard this story before. Yeah. And then they came to tell the mother that your son is dead. They said, my son is dead. Whether you will fry the body, whether you will toast the body or roast it, I don't care. Hey! May your mother never say these things against you in Jesus' name. But many people don't honor. They don't honor. That is why their mother will say something and say, Chia. Chia. Who said Chia? You don't know what you are losing in life. Verse 2, let's go to verse 2. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 2. 